New at four, for years it appeared the future was bleak for independent bookstores, but in recent years they've had uh, really turned the page and they're on the rebound. Yeah, the Triangle also seeing new locally owned bookshops opening and for many shop owners, they believe the future is bright. Anthony Wilson with more on the boom. You may expect a busy bookstore in a college town like Chapel Hill, but five years ago the one called the Bookshop of Chapel Hill closed after a three decade run on Franklin Street. Two years later, Jamie Sanchez and his partner opened Epilogue Books, also on Franklin. It's part of a resurgence of locally owned bookstores at a time when opening new businesses can be risky. Obviously, we can't help the economics, but we can continue working hard on this mission to be here for you in whatever way you need, through a book, through the people that talk with you at the cafe. We can't not keep going. We can't fail a community. A diverse community seeking something different. Barnes & Noble, that was the only bookstore I really had in my hometown up from Greensboro. Um, and we had a couple smaller ones, but none like this that were just like mm. packed with, with books. Sanchez says they elevate the voices of minorities and the LGBTQ community, as well as providing a wide variety. I did get one from this like tree and the books are covered and you pick a mystery book. She's talking about this feature. They call this the positivity. You've got some handwritten messages here, as well as wrapped books that one person working here referred to as a blind date with a book. Can we give you a little hint of what it is? If you like what it says, take it home. Maybe you're reading something by somebody completely different from you. Maybe you're reading something that you're not into, but that's the gist finding something new to you. Readers find something new in Durham as well at the Rafiwa Book Cafe. Because they are looking for a very particular kind of experience with uh, black literature that they cannot find in a big box bookstore. It's on Driver Street, not quite as busy as Epilogue, but the co-owner says. Because we're not downtown, people don't stumble into our space. People make time and find time and bring their family and bring their friends who are coming from out of town and bring their children. Both shops encourage you to have a cup, curl up with books, and support the local economy. Anthony Wilson, ABC 11 Eyewitness News.